welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. If you enjoy these videos, please support them by subscribing or commenting below. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tell what processes are starting up with your computer and what is safe to keep and what you would need to get rid of, such as malware or uh, spyware or viruses. So what you want to do is go down to the start menu and uh, type in msconfig or if you have XP go to start run and then type in msconfig and it'll bring up this window. And what we're going to be looking at is the startup tab and the services tab. And what you want to do if you haven't done this before is uh, go through all of these and see which ones you want to start up with your computer and which ones you don't. If you have really slow computer startup times, it's probably due to what all is located in these two tabs. But I'm just going to go through and delete everything that I don't want to uh, start up with my computer. And if I have a question about one, let's say this uh, TN21, whatever it is, um, a good website to go to to find out what it is is called processlibrary.com. So uh, I'm just going to type what I've found into the uh, search criteria and click find and hopefully it'll bring it up which it did here and it will tell you whether it's harmful to your computer or not and it'll give you a description of what it is. Another good website aside from process library um, I've got a, a couple listed in the comments but another good one is sysinfo.org where you can also search or it'll just lay everything out in a list. You can see there's thousands of them. But uh, that's a good way to find out what everything is and what it's doing there. Um, if for some reason you can't find it, like this one for instance, you couldn't find it in Process Library, just do a regular Google search for it. And as you can see, this one that I have listed, uh, that I had starting up with my computer, it says that uh, this is potentially spyware or malware and it should not be run. So it's a good thing that I did a search for that because this does not need to be starting up with my computer. Um, and that's what you don't want to find, but that's why you want to go through these to make sure there's nothing like that starting up with your computer. And that was under the services tab. But whenever you're through, just click apply and then click OK and it should prompt you to restart your computer. So uh, just go ahead and click restart and whenever your computer boots back up you should see this dialog box. Just check the box that says don't show this again and click OK. Alright that's it for this tutorial. For more go to tinkernut.com.